What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here. Today in this video I will be showing you some Act 1 Inferno farming. Specifically what I want to do is show you how I'm gearing up and working to progress into Acts 2, 3, and 4 and Inferno difficulty. I will be showing you the route that I'm taking while farming Act 1 Inferno, talking to you why we're do uh, about why we're doing it, and basically trying to get the maximum amount of drops per hour while farming this so that you can gear up as quickly as possible. First thing we're going to want to do, obviously again in Inferno difficulty, you're going to go to part 9 and the second quest which is the Cursed Hold. This is the starting point that we are selecting. Now if you're not interested in watching this whole video, I'll just give you the basic rundown of how I'm doing the farming. So you're going to start off immediately, the first place you want to go to is the Halls of Agony level 2. You're going to clear this and try to kill off as many rare and champion packs as possible, and then you progress your way into the Cursed Hold. Now that is where you kill the Warden. And now once you clear the Cursed Hold, if you don't have a full 5 stack of Nephilim Valor, then you want to immediately go to the Cemetery of the Forsaken, because this is a really easy and quick way to continue to get the rest of your Nephilim Valor buff. There's a plenty of rare and champion packs in these Defiled Crypts. Very quick and very easy. Once you have your 5 stack, you go back to the Cursed Hold, you kill off the Warden, and then you kill off the Butcher immediately after that. Uh, you have to clear one more level, but pretty much immediately after killing off the Warden, you kill the Butcher, and then you'll go back to New Tristram, and you'll be going north onto Old Tristram Road to look for the, uh, it's the Dank Cellar or the Dusk Cellar, it's one or the other, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. But in there, you're also going to find another rare um, mob, which is going to give you some good loot if you have a full 5 stack of Nephilim, Val Nephilim Valor. Alright, so that is the basic rundown. Now before we start this, we're going to go into the full video now. A lot of people have been asking, hey, show me your gear, what are your resistances, everything fancy like that. I'll also show you my build as well. Uh, let me start off. Firstly, I will show you the gear that I currently have. I'm not going to talk much time. about it, I'm just going to mouse over it. And uh, if you guys obviously are interested in taking a prolonged look at any one of the pieces, you can just pause the video. That's uh, going to be the best way uh, for you to do it. But yeah, this is my current, uh, current setup here, trying to get a lot of resistances. Resistance is very, very, very important when farming Inferno difficulty. I feel, especially as a melee character, uh, you want Not to make sure yet. you've got some good solid resistances up. Otherwise, you're just going to die to the those rare and champion packs way too quickly. A lot of their uh, non-physical damage is pretty rough. Not the greatest weapon, but 744 DPS. Uh, looking to upgrade that to one of the 1,000 DPS weapons somewhere in that vicinity sometime soon. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do that pretty easily now that I have... Uh, take a look at this. I don't know how much this is going to sell for, but I'm guessing somewhere around a million gold. Uh, got a piece of Tal Rosh's Guardianship. And this is actually, this would be pretty good for me to wear just because of the massive amount of resistance on it, plus 60 resistance to all elements. But... I would honestly rather upgrade my weapon um, and just have another piece with maybe a little less resistance for the chest. Obviously the one that I have right now doesn't have any resistance, but I personally would just rather sell this and try to get a much better weapon um, at this point in time at least. All right, so that is my gear that I currently have on my Barbarian. And let me show you the skill setup. That this is what I'm using for farming Inferno. Frenzy with Sidearm. And I, I did a video pretty much showing off this build already with uh, just a few tweaks here in this particular video. Wrath of the Berserker going with Insanity there. Uh, then Furious Charge with the Dreadnought. The healing is essential. You have to get Dreadnought. It's so vital. And, and until you're completely crazily geared out, this is one of the best builds you can use. A uh, few variations, obviously. Ground Stomp with Wrenching Smash. Revenge with uh, Provocation. The healing, again, absolutely crucial. And then we're going with War Cry for the extra armor as well as resistance. It's pretty awesome as well. And all of this is damage mitigation, uh, Nerves of Steel, Tough as Nails, and Superstition. Very, very solid build while you're trying to gear up your Barbarian. And then lastly, let me show you here uh, where I'm currently sitting at for resistances. Not the greatest, but not that terrible either. Uh, my damage is currently at 9,600. Armor, uh, 8,200. All right, so there you go. Uh, that is my gear. That is my current build setup. And let us get to the farming. So this is the deal. We're going firstly to the Halls of Agony level 2. First and foremost, we're going to clear this fully, try to get as uh, many rare and champion packs as we can, stack up that Nephilim Valor buff, and then with that, we're going to be working our way into the Cursed Hold, clear that, and if you don't have a full 5 stack, then we're going to the Cemetery to finish off that 5 stack, and then go to kill the Warden, kill the Butcher, and that is it. And that is basically that. I mean, that's that's the that's the route. So if you just care to know the route that I've been doing, uh, that you can probably shut the video off and go start farming yourself right now. But if you want to see a full run, uh, stay tuned and 
know, maybe you'll get to see me die once or twice. <laughs> these, uh, these champion packs, a lot of them I can do very well. There's a few that just give me a really, really hard time. Still recharging. And I think that that's just going to be the case until I continuously get more gear and get myself in a better position to uh, take them out. But yeah, the healing from this charge is unbelievable, un unbelievably helpful while you're here and out here. So um, I can't really understate how much you should, you should make sure you have that. Absolutely. Absolutely crucial. So this run's been a very, very, uh, very, very productive for me. Uh, it's netted me a lot of gold. It's netted me a lot of really good items as well. A lot of the items that I'm wearing I actually got from run. Not the weapon. The weapon is from the auction house. And there's a few pieces in my gear that are from the auction house. But I would say majority of the gear that I'm currently using has just been from doing these runs. It's been great. A uh, great way to get your five stack. You kill off uh, two bosses, and then you get the uh, the potential of getting that rare spawn, which is on Old Tristram Ro Road that I talked about as well. And that'll be the last thing that we look at right before I reset and start the run over. Uh, but basically, this is the run that I've been doing exclusively for Farming Inferno. I found it great. I tried a few other things, um, you know, looking on places like Reddit for different ideas. Some people suggested uh, just doing an Inferno um, for the, uh, I'm sorry, the Skeleton King. They suggested a Skeleton King route. And that was good, and I tried it, and time-wise it was about the same, but the difference is I feel like you get a lot more, more uh, bosses or rare spawns doing this this particular route. So I, I, I found it to be really, really, really productive. I'm sure that there is a more optimal way than what I'm doing. And this is this is a great opportunity for you guys to share that. If you have got a way uh, of farming gear Still in Aquan Inferno that you think is better than what I'm doing right now, let me know in the comments below because I would love to know that. <laughs> if there's a more optimal way to be doing this to get more loot per hour, uh, then obviously that is what I would like to do. So, again, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See, this is a growing community. It's wonderful. Appreciate it. All of us helping each other out. <laughs> Talking myself, you know, that's what I do here in these videos. If you're new to this whole YouTube commentary scene, it's just me talking myself. I think this is also a great way for you guys to see how effective the build can be. Once more, I found it to be incredibly effective. I posted up a video with pretty much this exact build. The only difference was I was using Ground Stomp while, while I was uh, working through Hell and Early Inferno. And uh, I got a lot of feedback. People suggested you know, try going with Warcraft. And uh, it's much, much better suited, certainly much better suited for Inferno. Those resistances, once more, are just so crucial. All right, so that is uh, Halls of Agony level 1. That is not where we want to go. We are once more looking to work our way out into the Cursed Hold. And so far, not so lucky in terms of... Uh in terms of getting some champion packs not here. There's yet. not been anything yet. Unfortunately enough... So let's see what we can find here around the corner. There, look at that. How did you know something was around the corner? I didn't. All right, so let's see how this one does here. We go ahead and wrath of the berserker up. Gonna make sure we stay away from the. Uh, oh, these guys have teleport too. I could die here with uh, with teleport. This is a uh, really really hairy of a situation. Just because they're going to get right up on me and do their stupid little slam thing in my face, which is, uh, really infuriating. Oh my gosh, so many. <laughs> Path right through them there with that. Just make sure we pull back and we slam it down. Alright, not going so, not going so bad so far. Let's wrap it up now, because I hadn't before. And then look at this, they, they drop so quickly when you... Pop Wrath of the Berserker. It's absolutely crazy. It's absolutely insane. Just so much damage. And I, now I went with the rune effect that is 100% more damage while Wrath is active. And it's uh, it's quite effective, as you saw there. Probably should have popped it earlier, but that's okay. One pack down. Let us continue. Now some obvious things, I'm sure uh, if you're watching this channel, you, you, chances are good that you've probably seen my, uh, my hardcore run that I've started, the hardcore playthrough series. Not going to play the same here as I would in hardcore, uh, so again, if you see me die, it's because I can. <laughs> it's because I'd rather uh, do things quicker and sacrifice myself 
to get the run done a little bit quicker than try to be the super precarious, very careful, tiptoeing around people um, that you have to do in hardcore difficulty just because it's uh, the hardcore mode. I, don't, I always call it difficulty, which is stupid. It's not, it's not it's a gameplay mode. Ugh! Yeah, hit anyway. Are you guys, if, for those of you playing the Barbarian, I'd like, I'd also like to hear your thoughts on this build, maybe in comparison to what build that you're using to farm Akron and Inferno. I had people tell me that with the build that I had, I couldn't kill the Butcher. I've killed the Butcher quite a few times. <laughs> so yeah, about that. <laughs> I just, it was so funny to, to read that. It's like, okay, guess I can't kill the butcher. <laughs> yeah, I've killed the butcher quite a few times with uh, with this build. Uh, today, 15, maybe more. <laughs> so yeah, this build is absolutely fine so far. I, and now again, most of what I've been doing is Act 1. Yet. I really haven't uh, neandered too much in Act 2, just because I know I need to gear up for it. So I realize that there isn't much of a point to spend time in Act 2 and, and until you're geared. Cause there's a significant jump from Acts 1 to 2 in Inferno and then from Act 2 to 3. Now, for 3 to 4 is actually the same because uh, more or less the same. You could argue that the enemy types in Act 4 are uh, more difficult, but it's more or less the same because they are the same uh, level. The monsters are the same level in Acts 3 and 4, uh, whereas there's a jump from Act 1, 2 to 3 here in Inferno. All right, here we go. Did a AoE damage. I found sidearm to be very, really, really effective too at uh, helping to clear out large groups. I was kind of slamming down the hammer. Biggest thing too with that sidearm is that it can pierce through multiple targets. So it is just fantastic. All right, now looks like I do have to end up going over there. So all of that was for naught. Darn it! And only one stack so far. Normally, here in the Halls of Agony level 2, normally I end up with eh, two, sometimes even three uh, rare champion packs. So, and it's great, you know, with that, I'm able to get two or three stacks right away, and then by the time I make it to the Cursed Hold, I have no Still problem on getting up to the fifth stack. It's usually just quick in that, but if we do only end up getting one stack here in Halls of Agony level 2, chances are I am going to have to go to the cemetery, and it looks like that is going to be the case. Because here we are. Let me just take a quick look down there. Let's see. Looks like there is nothing. Sometimes there's actually an event down here too. There'll be a uh, little coffin thing over there, and some guy screaming for help. If you hear, if you walk by that uh, this passageway up top here, and you hear some guy screaming for help in one of those Iron Maidens down there, head down there because there'll be a, a special boss. It's a rare event. Get yourself some extra loot. All right, so Highlands Passage, and sometimes there's a quest giver here, and if there's a quest giver there, there will be another champion pack, which will get you another stack, but obviously on this run, the one that I'm recording, none of that happened. <laughs> so a little bit unlucky so far when it comes to the packs. Again, normally I have two, if not three at this point. And, uh, and then sometimes even working up to a fourth while I'm finishing through here if I get that quest spawn. But uh, none of those things happened this run, obviously. Why, why would it? <laughs> why would it work out when I'm recording? It doesn't. Oh, well. Say love B, right? I'm not upset about it. I still find this to be a very, very uh, lucrative run. Do we have anything to get rid of here? i probably just get rid of all this stuff. Garbage, 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 garbage. So much garbage. But you know what? It's money. So we take it. So we take it. Why would we not, huh? Over half my fortune here is from just gold drops. I know I'm not super rich either. One million is actually not a lot, believe it or not. If you're not farming in front of right now, you might think, oh, one million? He is super rich. No, <laughs> that's actually not that much at all. Uh, lots of people that. walking around with 10 million plus. So, so I'm not even going to bother with those guys right now. Just going to focus on getting the uh, champion packs down. 
we can find any more. Obviously freeing the uh, prisoner's remains here as well. So we're going to do that while searching for the champion packs. And hopefully we get some more luck here. So far it's been pretty barren. Let's get this guy to pop here. There we go. Okay, are you serious? I thought. What adult. That guy. This is also pretty good for damage. It's not bad. Um, but I would not... People have talked about you know going for the rune that uh, reduces its cooldown so you get more damage because you can pass through more. It's not... That, that ability, using Fury's Charge, is not about the damage. It, that's a nice benefit. It's all about the healing. More it's all about the healing. And again, that's going to be true until you start to get geared up and you maybe don't need that as much. Um, but until that's the, the case, then having that healing is just crucial. It's so, so beneficiary. Beneficial? Beneficiary? What am I talking about? And again, nothing here. This is this is pretty rough so far. I might come out. There we go, finally. Alright, so I am actually going to uh, engage these guys with some friends here because the more I have, uh, the, the better off my uh, revenge prop. Uh, revenge props are. So more people here, it's kind of uh, beneficial. So this is, it's just crazy how fast I can work through some of these packs. This just goes to show you, you know, it's the case with, you know, every class and uh, every build has its strength and weakness, but some of these packs with uh, Wrath of the Berserker, I just tear through them just like that. I mean, that is, that was a joke, right? That was an absolute joke. It was not even, not even remotely challenging. Let's see if there's a pack over here. Sometimes there is, this time there is not. I'm gonna hold off on looting those until I've got five stacks too. Come back to kill the warden. Still recharging. So we've got two. Hopefully we get a third here while we're finishing off the bones uh, freeing and all that jazz. And then we'll run over to the cemetery really quick and get the last one or two. A few bones there. Yada yada yada. Two bones here and a third one right here. So let them hit me a bit, wait for my revenge to proc, yep, put them all together, and do that, and then laugh in their face, just like that. Oh, the self-healing barbarian, how awesome are you? Incredibly awesome, that's how. These fools, same deal, Don't revenge proc, pull them in, like that, extra damage there. That, that's, that part's not necessary, though. you can say that, for actual healing. Again, it's just one of those things. All depends on kind of where you're at gear-wise and what you feel like you can survive and all that. We have six, four, and then we got number five down there. So I'll just search for six. Look at that side on bro. So much damage. It's awesome. Is this cool going, huh? I don't know. So normally. This run, again, this this particular run has been a little bit unlucky, but normally this run takes me about 30 minutes, if I recall correctly. And uh, in that 30 minute period of time, lots of rares to be had. Okay, there we go. So, that's the next one. Oh, yes! Alright, so we got a pack there. Good, good, good. This is awesome. It's actually exactly what I want here. And um, I'm not too upset with what they are. So, Watch this. This is a good place for me to stand here and just do massive damage. Fast knock by, back extra health. This is me being lucky right here because this is a very easy pack for me to take on. Uh, these guys are pretty much super laughable, as you can see. And there you go. I mean, that was... what? Like... <laughs> okay. Extra health, knockback, fast, and waller. The only reason this is so easy is because of the type of monster this is, too. This guy is just, yeah, not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Free stack, free gear. Thank you very much. I will take it. A little bit more. Finish him off here. And that is it. All right. So this is gonna, that's stack number three. We'll get the last. Of, oh, treasure goblin. If. Yeah, 
should be all set. Don't drop. There we go. Almost lost that. Uh, almost lost it there. Almost lost my frenzy. Okay. The so last of the bone. Let me check the last corner up here. Always do that full check. Make sure you've uh, uncovered every aspect, just in case there's a rare pack that you have uh, not seen. All right, so that is everything. Looks like there's no other packs for me to have here. Grab that, just, just in case. Still Nothing. recharging. All right, so we, again, we're gonna have to run back, unfortunately, to the cemetery. It's not a, ideal at all, but it's okay. It is A-OK -okay by me. Back for a second, charge it. Glorious, glorious indeed. All right, so we are six of six, and the warden's all about like, hey, you come hang out with me, and I say no. I will not hang out with you yet, warden, not until I have my five stacks. We'll go right here. I will port. Let me just check this, just in case. Is there like some super rare pack over here? Is there? No, there isn't. There's a bunch of idiots. It's okay. All right, so. We've done that. Let's go ahead and head back to town. And so if you're in this situation, this was very unlucky. A lot of times I've got five stacks right now. But if you're in this situation, just leave. And I found the best thing to do is go to the Cemetery of the Forsaken. This is a really, really good way to finish off your stacks. Look at this. <laughs> First thing, right? Look at that. This guy's arcane enchant. Take out the minions first. Two minions down. This guy too. There we go. So nice and easy. Look at that, guys. Now, uh, even though my buffs dropped, it's just the one guy, so uh, not as concerning at all. Just work him down. Look at that leanness, huh? We're gonna sit in this for a second, it's fine. And there it is. Our stack number four. Second we walk into the Defiled Crypt. You see the RNG gods, sometimes they are your friend. And at this point, I am just gonna skip by all these guys and just try to find my last pack. Not ready yet. Uh, there's a rare event right here. Okay, all right, this is just throwing a huge monkey wrench in this thing. Now, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna hit that rare event, um, which I guess I should, so this is gonna add time to it, but you know what? That's not necessarily a bad thing. Sure, I'm adding time to my total run, but that's a good opportunity to get some loot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fifth stack, I'll take that, and then I'll go finish off the standard. Here it is, and this could be a problem. Um, sometimes mortar plus molten can be a problem. So we'll see how this uh, transpires here. And it's okay, Jesus. And yep, okay, this is... <laughs> Doesn't always work in your favor, not always. But we will do what we can here. And jump back real quick. Give it a second, get my charge back. Try to let that stuff dissipate, there we go. Yeah, this is not my favorite pack at all. Um, especially without Wrath of the Berserker up. All right, well, Wrath is up, so hopefully I'll be able to drop one quick. This happens. I'm not, like, crazily geared right now, so this definitely happens. Um, let's see what I can get right now here with this. Let's see what I can get here. Okay. They're immune. Jump out real quick. jeez. Oh, Didn't want to jump out with this up. <laughs> Oh man, I told you, some packs guys, that just uh, just kind of the way it is, it's the way the cookie crumbles, but we've got two of them down now, so hopefully we can get third here, go back, quickly, we should have it here. I am No! <laughs> Face bomb. <laughs> uh, welcome to Farming Inferno. As you attempt to gear up, this is the fun that you can deal with sometimes. But the good thing, the great thing here, this is a lot. Oh no, they reset themselves. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, this is gonna be further embarrassing, isn't it? I am badly hurt. Yeah, I realize that. Yeah, so much fun, so much fun. I might just fast forward it here. We'll see. Kill that one for the love of God. Thank you. All right, guys, finally. <laughs> You're welcome for that fun enjoyment there, huh? All right, so now that that is taken care of farming place. I'm gonna run over there, because that is absolutely something that I want to do with my full five stack. Now, had I not encountered that, what, I, what, what, would, be, what would be happening next is we'd be going straight back to kill the warden. Uh, but since I just found this event, there is really no reason not to do it and take advantage of the five stack that I have right now. So let's uh, go ahead and get this underway, shall we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. <laughs> Pull through that a little bit. Yep, you're just doing your little stupid slow thing there. That's good. All right, so here we are now. Wonderful. Let's take this guy here. Take full advantage of uh, how amazing revenge is. Now and wonderful. So the reason we're doing this with the Nephilim Valor reason this was uh i deemed this worthy because it wasn't completely out of the way we found it while getting our stacks and now we got this it should be uh you know with the nest stack of nephilim valor giving us some better gear there we go all right so now that that is complete we're gonna peace out of here not ready yet then we are going to portal back Kill the warden, kill the butcher, and then voila, that is that. And no, we don't want to town portal back to town because I just want to get straight back to the warden through the cursed hold. And here we are. And now with the five stack, this is where you really start to get the rares. I'm really, really surprised, to be honest with you also, that I haven't gotten any rares yet. Because most of the times, once you start to have four stacks, you really start to pick up stuff um, from just the packs that you're killing. But once again, this has not been the most lucrative run. But I assure you, just check on the interwebs. This is a really solid run overall, most times. So. Go ahead and kill the warden nice and quick. Laugh in his face and take his loot. There it is. So we got two. I'm not going to worry so much about it um, right now, but uh, when you've got your five stacks, it's a good time to make sure you're uh, turning every stone, sort to speak, picking up every chest, uh, looting every weapon rack. When you've got your five stack, absolutely should be doing that. I'm sure I've left a few things behind, but I'm not worrying about it right now, simply because um, I'm just more interested in completing the route to show you guys. I'm not interested in this being the uh, optimal, the absolutely positively optimal run. Ooh, dexterity, life to each kill. Pretty cool for the scoundrel. Probably just gonna sell it. And not bad, dexterity, cold. Ooh, resist to all elements. This could be something to hold on to. Maybe something that a demon hunter or a monk would be interested in having. Any any gear that I find, any rare, rare gear that I find that has resist to all elements, I almost immediately consider mm, probably something I might want to throw up on the auction house just because it's so vital right now for people to get that. Not throwing it up there. I feel like a crying shame, really. You cannot stand before me. Yeah, you can't stand before me. That's the truth. Still recharging. We are Halls of Agony level 3. Now, a lot of times this is another place that I just kind of burn through. Um, not, I don't... 
it doesn't hurt to kill these things, obviously, because you do have your extra gold and magic finds, so you can net yourself some really awesome things. Uh, but if you're really in a hurry to just try to get as many rares as possible, maybe be lining it like I'm going to be doing right now, straight to the boss. Might be what you want to do, you know? It's a matter of personal preference. Stay with these guys, though. Really quickly. Yeah, great, Tome of Secrets. Not like I don't have a billion of those. Appreciate it. That's what I needed. Move it, move it, move it. Any rhyme or reason to where I'm going? No, I just kind of go off of feel. And sometimes it works and sometimes it's way off. Let's see what this one is. There's a chest down there. Should probably grab that. I will. Absolutely nothing. Wow, what the? <laughs> this is literally, in terms of gear drop, the worst run that I've ever had. <laughs> so luckily for you guys, you get to see it. Uh, it's too funny, I tell you, dude. I gotta tell you. It's a bit too funny. Oh. And yeah, in a typical run, I would be, you know, finding every stone and everything, like I said. Just trying to make sure I've got absolutely everything looted. Even most times, I'll kill everything, just more even just for the extra gold and, the, you know, the chance of getting a decent item to drop off of someone. Okay, so this is a definitely a pack that we're going to want to engage here. Ready? Let's get him to come to me a little bit more. Alright, here we go. Lots and lots of uh, lots of damage there. Right now. Yo though. Good. Dead. Some decent loot so far. I don't want to stand him. Desec Look at all that stuff, man. Desecration. Oh my god. Plagued. Freaking. At least they're teleporting to me. Now that garbage. It's unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. Thank you. Finally. You see what I mean? Like that that guy, he dropped a rare. Most times I'm getting rares off of uh, off of these packs, and I've been so unlucky so far this run. I'm carrying too much. And I can't carry anymore. So I got a quick trip to town. Get rid of most of this, which is pretty much all garbage. You may, you may ask me, hey, Force, there's some stuff in here that, that might be sellable. Like, I'm going to keep that. Um, let's see if I want to keep this or not. But most of it's not even worth it. Like, for example, this. It's a one-hander that does only it's 292 damage. It's got a ton of stats. Yeah, but you know what? No one's going to take that. No one's going to buy it in the auction house. And I already have some. Th these are all auction house uh, worthy items that I'm trying to sell here. Uh, and no one... No one is going to buy that. I can only have 10 auctions at a time. So it's either break this down, and I'm, I haven't really been into crafting at all. Um, I'm going to start to start to do it, probably. But uh, so far, I've just been trying to stockpile some money here because simply because of the fact that I want to... Um, I'm going to hold on to that for auction. Simply because of the fact that I want to try and... Check out this ring, dude. Where is it? Right here. Uh, that's is that the good one? I guess so. I found some really good boots here too. All right, I'm gonna stop showing you my gear. It's stupid as heck. That's not the point of this video. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, so crafting, I've, I I have some. I found a rare recipe, and that's something that I might end up keeping to try to start doing some crafting. But for now, I'm just trying to you know get 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 geared up as quickly as possible so besides doing these runs that includes buying gear in the AH need more time and uh, I just want the gold right now and so just selling those items because again you can only have 10 items up in the AH at any given time uh, 
so if you've got stuff that doesn't sell, you just sit there, and you can't cancel auctions either. That's the other thing. All right, so here's the butcher. This guy has not been a problem for me, even remotely. It's hilarious. And it's even funnier because I had all those people the other day telling me, you can't, you can't be a butcher. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a good walk, actually. Look at this, Wrath of the Zerker. Look how, look how quickly I get through this half health. In a, in a full, um... In a full wrath cycle, I get him down to about 60%. It's silly. Really. It is really silly, I tell you. Okay, this is terrible. Get over here. Come to me, please. Thank you. Most times, I will actually kill him before uh, the cooldown finishes for Wrath of the Berserker. This might be a little bit of a slower one, though, so I'm not going to. Oh, snap. Charge. Yeah, I might have to end up using Wrath again. Which is unfortunate. Like I said, a lot of times I can finish him off before that. Coming. Coming here. Let's go. Alright, so I guess this is also my uh, Barbarian Solo Butcher Kill video. There we go. Wrath of finishes. I'll show you guys. Get you guys a nice panoramic view there. There it is. Huzzah. And so that's the run, guys. That is it. Got some plans there. That's good. And then one last thing that I do before I, uh, before I restart it. As I go back to town, I'll make sure I show you guys what dropped for me too. Um, as I go back to town, and ooh, what's this? A wizard stone? A wizard stone? Garbage. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't think I'm gonna hold on to that either. Lots of garbage, lots of garbage. And uh, I do have my other plans here. So I've got the Exalted Sovereign Helm. Looks like I have two of those. Really? Okay. So then the last thing I do before logging off and completing this, and this will be the last portion of the video, is I go north on Old Tristram Road, and it's... I'll remember once we're there. It's either the, the Dank or the Dusky Cellar. It's one or the other. There's a specific name for it, and I'm sorry that I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, this this uh, rare spawn will only come in that particular name. So once we figure out what it is, and I guarantee the, the comments box below is going to be flooded with the actual name, um, it's not the musty seller. Let's just confirm though. I, I'm positive. Yeah, it's not the musty seller. That's not the one we're looking for. It's not that, but I will go there. I just don't need to show that to you. It's not the damp seller. I think it's the dusk one. Yeah, it's not the damp seller either. So I think it's the dusky one. Fingers crossed though, there's still a chance we might get it. Just check one last place here. Do, 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 do. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Please be over here and you're not. All right, so I, 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 I'm assuming now that the name is the Dusk Seller or the Dusky Seller or whatever, and that's the one uh, that he is in. Uh, but with it, there's a rare spawn there, and you can, again, use your five stacks, take advantage of that, get some extra awesome loot and all that stuff. And that does it, guys. Uh, so it looks like this ended up taking a little bit over a half hour. Keep in mind a few things. Kind of unlucky for the uh, spawns, forced us to go to the cemetery to kill off two last guys. Also, while in the cemetery, we had that event that I did. Uh, that was kind of unlucky. There was one pack that we struggled with there, ended up dying a couple times too. But besides that, um, everything was pretty smooth sailing, so... 
as you saw, the butcher was easy. The warden was pretty easy as well. Uh, so it's it's been a really really good productive run. Most of the times taking me about 30 minutes. A little bit longer this time for the reasons we went into. I guess also I was talking a little bit rather than focusing on the run. But uh, that's it. And that's that's the uh, that's the run that I've been doing. It's been great for accumulating me, uh, you know, tons and tons of rares. Also. You know, way too many, way too many blues, and uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, it's been a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Quick a recap once more. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this game and just give you the, the quick little rundown. So you're gonna do first thing is you're starting off on the quest, the cursed hold. You go wh while you're in the quest. I gotta start the game. Once you start the quest, you're gonna go immediately to Halls of Agony level two. You clear Halls of Agony level 2, fully, get as many Nephilim Valor buffs as possible, go into the Cursed Hold, clear that fully, get as many buffs as possible. If you don't have your full 5, most times I do, this this run I didn't, then you're going to go to the uh, Cemetery of the Forsaken, uh, finish it off, get your full 5 stack, go back, kill the Warden, kill the Butcher, and then look north of New Tristram on Old Tristram Road, look there to try to find the Dusk Cellar, uh, and that's it. And then there you go. That's a, it's a good productive run. Getting lots of gear. I guess we got one more guy to kill here, so that's nice and fun. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll also be sure to leave in the comments section below. Uh, I guess it's too late to say it now, but for people who don't want to watch the full video, I'll leave in the comment section below the basic rundown of this uh, of this run. It's been great. Also, please let me know below if you guys are doing different runs for farming Act 1 Inferno. Uh, but basically, let me, let me know the route that you're taking. I'd love to find if there's a better one. I'd love to know it. Don't hold this information from me. Let me know. Share it with me. That'd be great. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. And don't forget to keep watching and keep owning Thunderhead Dirk Root. Dirk Root. That's his name. Need more time. Derp. Herp derp. Ring of Extermination, huh? That's cool. More garbage. Because I don't have any stacks because I left the game like a fool. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.